everyone and welcome to Learning Kitchen Live. I'm Valerie Machinist. I'm the Manager of Nutrition Services here at Community Servings and I'm very excited to be back today. Um, I am going to cook for you today one of my favorite takeout staples, chicken and cashew lettuce wraps. So this is this is a pretty standard offering at many um, Chinese or Asian restaurants and I personally love it. Uh, but if you're not careful, it can be full of a lot of fat and sodium. So we are going to revamp that today, make it lighter, um, but still just as tasty. And it's a great alternative um, to what you would get from takeout. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. What we are gonna start with is just some chicken that I am going to saute. I'm going to use chicken breast, but you could actually use chicken boneless, skinless chicken thighs if that's your preference. We're going to add some garlic and a sauce to it and let it cook up, and it's done so quickly you wouldn't even believe it. So to go ahead and get started, I'm going to turn my stove on and let my pan heat up a little. You want that to be like a medium, medium high heat. And what I have here is a little over a pound of just diced chicken breast. It's probably like half inch pieces, bite sized pieces. Um, one of the, be the beautiful things about this recipe is it's super versatile. Like many of the things that we cook here, um, you could use ground chicken or turkey if you wanted to, wanted to. You could actually use ground pork if you wanted to. It's a little less healthy perhaps, um, a lot more fat in it. But you can also use things like tofu, which I um, made a tofu version ahead of time just to be able to show how easy it is to make. Um, it's, you follow the same steps as you do with the chicken, but just use some diced extra firm tofu. And so if you watch the chicken, watch me cook the chicken, you would do the exact same thing with tofu and it will be just as delicious. All right, so that's getting nice and warm. What I am going to do is add like a tablespoon or two of canola oil to the pan. And if you had sesame oil, you could use that as well. That would give it a really nice sesame flavor. Um, we, I couldn't find any today, so I'm just using canola oil, but it's still gonna be delicious. And if you're just joining us now, my name is Valerie and you're watching Learning Kitchen Live and we are making chicken and cashew lettuce wraps today. All right, so that is nice and hot. This is the world's biggest frying pan, by the way. You don't need one this big to make this dish. It's what we had available. Um, so I am just gonna add the chicken and kind of spread it out in one layer and just let that cook. So we're gonna just let it cook and get nice and brown and then we will stir it around and get it completely cooked, completely cooked through. You don't want, you don't ever want your chicken to be partially cooked. Um, I know when you're cooking things like beef and pork, you don't always want them, you know, cooked well done, but poultry you do. So uh, we're gonna let that go for a few minutes. And while that cooks, I'm gonna make the sauce that they're gonna go in. And this is super simple too. Um, what I am gonna use is a half a cup of unsalted chicken broth. And when I made this for the tofu, I actually used unsalted vegetable broth. So just substitute. What makes this dish salty when you um, when you get it as takeout is the sauce itself is super delicious, but it tends to have a lot of um, just so much sodium in it from the soy sauce and other ingredients, and then it's cooked often in a lot of fat. So those are the things that we're really controlling for, and that's one of the things you can always control for when you cook at home. You can control how much fat and how much salt goes into your food and sugar as well. Um, so that's all we're doing is lightening it up in those two respects. So I have low sodium soy sauce here and I'm going to add four tablespoons. And then I'm going to add 
two tablespoons of hoisin sauce, which is which is an Asian sauce. Um, you can buy it in a jar. I happened to find it in this in this bottle yesterday. And it also has a lot of sodium in it, so you want to be mindful of how much you add. But it adds a nice flavor to this dish. But honestly, if you didn't have this at home, it, this dish would be fine without it. You can make it without the hoisin sauce. So two tablespoons of that. And then I'm going to add one tablespoon of rice vinegar. And rice vinegar is just a nice light vinegar, but again, if you didn't have that, you could use white wine vinegar, you could even use apple cider vinegar, whatever you have on hand, it just adds like a nice splash of acidity to the sauce. It doesn't have to be rice vinegar. And then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of cornstarch just to, so that when this cooks over the heat, it's gonna get nice and thick. And I'm just going to whisk that together. So that'll be ready to go once the chicken is done. As you can see, it's, it's getting cooked on one side. We're going to leave it there for a few minutes and then uh, flip it over and get it cooked all the way through. And then the other ingredients that go into this are super simple. It's some garlic, the sauce, and some cashews. And you know, this, this dish is always, like I always see it on, on menus as chicken and cashews, but you could also leave the nuts out. If you have a nut allergy at home, um, you could leave them out. You could use peanuts if those were more available or affordable to you. Um, cashews can be expensive sometimes, so peanuts would be absolutely delicious in this. Um, or again, just leave the nuts out. You could sprinkle some sunflower seeds on at the end if you wanted like that crunch, but didn't want to put nuts in it. So super versatile dish in that way. You know, when you get takeout, we certainly, especially now of all times, we want to make sure when it's possible to be supporting our, our friends in the restaurant community. Um, so I'm not necessarily advocating that you should never go out and never get takeout. Um, you know, we, we do occasionally in my house as well. But if you want to get takeout, especially a dish like this, some, a great tip is when you get them home, actually you can drain the whole dish in a colander in your sink and get out some of that extra sauce, which contains a lot of the salt and fat, and it just lightens up the dish. Um, you won't notice any difference. It just won't be sitting in a, in a pool of sauce. So that's a great tip if you do want to get takeout and um, support you know, your local favorite restaurants right now. So I'm gonna just check this and see if it's getting a little brown and give it another minute or so. But what I'm gonna do as a side dish for this is actually make like an Asian inspired slaw, which is super easy. Um, you know, this dish is great served in a lettuce cup, which is what we're gonna do. Um, and also you could serve it over rice, brown rice or white rice. But um, if you wanna add a little more substance to your meal, this slaw is a great way to do it. And again, super easy. So what I have here is just a package of like pre-shredded cabbage coleslaw stuff from the grocery store. You could use um, rainbow slaw if you can find it, which has red cabbage in it usually. Um, you could use broccoli slaw, which I've cooked with before on this show. It's just, it's got like tons of nutrients. It's basically the shredded stalks of broccoli. So it's, it's great. Um, I'm just using regular coleslaw and we're going to put a really nice dressing on that. I'm just going to give my chicken a quick stir. And you'll notice I've not added any salt or anything to the chicken yet because um, we're going to add plenty of flavor and seasoning with this sauce that we're going to pour over it when it's done. All right, we're going to let that cook up a little more. So what I'm going to add to this is I'm going to make a dressing using some simple ingredients. Um, what I have in this bowl already is about a tablespoon of sugar and a clove of minced garlic. And I'm going to add to that some fresh lime juice. The recipe calls for about a quarter cup. I'm going to kind of eyeball it with, I have two limes here and we'll see how much we get out.
I think one lime might be enough. These are juicy. And this is a great tool for juicing citrus if you don't have one. Super inexpensive and really helps get the, the juice out. All right, so I, I think that's, no, maybe I'll do one more half and then I think we'll be good. Ooh, this one is not as juicy at all. Oh, I barely got anything out of the slime. Um, all right, so to this, I am going to add some canola oil and some fish sauce. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons and I'm gonna eyeball this because I don't have a clean uh, spoon at the moment. I'm just gonna add some canola oil and I'm gonna add fish sauce. And fish sauce is, it's like a sauce made out of usually anchovies actually. Um, it's pretty widely available. I just got this at the grocery store. Um, it's very salty, so you want to be mindful of how much you put in anytime you use it. Um, I'm going to use about a tablespoon and a half. And it gives kind of a, like a pungent fish flavor, I guess, but it's really, I, I personally love it. If you don't love it, you could actually substitute soy sauce in this and it would be delicious as well. All right. chicken is almost done um, just want to make sure we don't have any pink spots left so it's good I'm gonna let it go for another couple of minutes so all I'm gonna do with uh, with this sauce I'm just gonna mix it up to get that sugar to dissolve I'm going to pour it over the coleslaw. You could also do this with cucumbers. It would be delicious with just some sliced up cucumbers and red onions. Um, some red pepper flakes would add a little heat if you like, but, but that's it. And this adds some nice like fiber and color to the plate. And will be a delicious side dish. You can sprinkle it with some scallions. And there you go. So as you can see, this, this dish comes together super fast, especially when you're using things like pre-sliced or pre-shredded cabbage. Um, but there's not that much prep involved with making this, which is nice. So it's a great like weeknight or quick meal that you can make. I have a few pieces in here that I just wanna let go a little longer. And like I said, you don't have to use you don't have to use chicken breast. You could use boneless, skinless chicken thigh or ground meat as well if you if that's your preference. Um, and it'll all cook up about the same. I wish you could be here to smell. I'm smelling the, the one I made from tofu earlier and it's so delicious. So this is now, I think, just about done. What I am going to add, yeah, the chicken is done, no more pink spots. I'm gonna add two cloves of garlic that I minced and let that cook for just like 30 seconds because as, as you've heard us say on Learning Kitchen Live many times before, um, you don't want to let the garlic burn because it gives like a night nice, like it'll end up giving like a bitter flavor So you want to keep an eye on that so We're gonna let that cook for just like 30 seconds until you can start smelling it uh, Val, I think we actually have a question. Oh, we do excellent yes. Great question, so I'm gonna answer that in one second. I want to get my sauce in here so my garlic doesn't burn I'm just gonna re-whisk the sauce to incorporate the, um, 
the cornstarch and pour that in. And then you'll see this thicken up pretty quickly. So it'll, it'll start to thicken as soon as it starts boiling and you don't want to burn it either. So it'll just give that a minute. So for lettuce wraps, we've, I was able to find this very beautiful head of um, what's called Boston lettuce. And it's very tender lettuce. It's like kind of the, the perfect size and shape, if you will, to make like a lettuce cup. It's not always available. You can't find it all the time. If you could not find that, I would try iceberg lettuce um, or romaine lettuce. You could even use some bigger leaves of romaine. So great question. Butter lettuce is also sometimes available. It's also a very like tender soft lettuce and it's good. All right, as you can see, this got thick really quickly. I'm gonna actually turn my heat off and add the last ingredient, which is a half a cup of some chopped cashews. And I'm using unsalt, roasted unsalted cashews. I didn't wanna toss more salt into this, so just roasted and unsalted. And I'm gonna finish it with, with the rest of my scallions. And that is it. I'm gonna plate one up to show you what it can look like. So I will take one of these pretty lettuce wraps, put a little filling in it, we'll add a little bit of this on the side, and look at how pretty that is and how easy that was. So there you have it, chicken and cashew lettuce wraps with um, kind of an Asian inspired slaw on the side. And this is a lighter version of a takeout staple. Uh, lots of good nutrients, really pretty colorful plate and um, delicious. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Learning Kitchen Live and I hope you'll try the recipe. Please let us know if you do, we love to hear from all of you out there watching and you know you can type it into the chat and the recipe will be available there later today um, so thank you again for watching we'll see you back here in a week or two